I now call on George Adam, followed by Richard Simpson. Thank you, President Officer. I welcome this debate, and Willie Rennie is correct when he says this debate is about real people and their real issues and the lives that they lead, because uh, I think we have to remember that when we make these decisions and have these debates and discuss things within the media, because this is a complex issue, and if it was a very easy matter to fix, then we would have found one a long time ago, and we wouldn't still be looking for reasons to try and sort things out. But in May 2008, the Parliament as a cross-party grouping agreed that Scotland's national drugs strategy, the road to recovery, uh, was the way forward, and they took the right approach to support individuals and to sustain recovery from problem drug use. The fact that the Scottish Government is investing £28.6 million for frontline drug treatment and recovery services in 2012-13, which is an increase of 20 per cent, is to be welcomed. And the Scottish Government's National Drug, drug Strategy Road to Recovery states uh, in the executive summary actually states the issue very well in the, the beginning. Central to the strategy is a new approach to tackling problem drug use based firmly on the concept of recovery. Recovery is a process through which an individual is enabled to move on from their problem drug use towards a drug-free life and become an active and contributing member of society. For me, that is the most important issue and the most important fact with regards to all of this. And uh, the fact that, uh, the, obviously, as things moved on in April 2012, the Scottish Government, along with COSLA, the NHS, issued the Alcohol and Drug Partnership Planning and Reporting Guidance, ensuring that all these things could work at a local level as well and feed into single outcome agreements within local authorities, because what may work in certain areas may not work in other areas as well. So there will be a scope for local involvement at that as well. And I think when we're looking at I've heard complaints from constituents and I've even complained myself at some times when, it, when we're talking about methadone about people within uh, some of the uh, pharmacies across the country. My own wife has a long-term condition through no fault of her own and has been uh, getting obviously medication and uh, there have been complaints from people who have used it. But when I mentioned this to the Royal Pharmaceutical Society, they invited me along to one of their new uh, pharmacies in Paisley, the Abbey Pharmacy, and they explained to me how they were dealing with the issue in a more modern, thoughtful way, so that all of their customers and the people they were caring for in a professional manner were looked after. And the most important thing about that was, during my visit there, I actually got the chance to see someone, a constituent, who was on the methadone programme. And uh, he, quite rightly, was quite happy to see me, because he had a number of complaints about things happening in the area. So, uh, but during that, uh, when I was talking to him, that makes it real. It's back to what Willie Rennie quite rightly said. You meet the people, you don't just talk about the stigma, you don't just talk about the fact that they are a drug user, you see the actual human being in the person for what they are, and that makes the difference as well. So um, one of the other things that I had when we were going round various businesses in the area was the fact that uh, one of the store managers was quite surprised that there was this treatment room within one of the pharmacies in her area as well, because she thought it would be for something else when it said treatment room. She thought it would be for someone's nails or cosmetic things. It was only when the pharmacist explained it to her exactly what it was there for that she could see the reason why, because it's one of the biggest complaints that people get. And the Royal Pharmaceutical Society, in their briefing, said the treatment with methadone is not a cure for addiction but as an oral treatment it reduces the harm associated with the use of illegal drugs and can help to stabilise drug misusers and pr promote recovery. Now, for me, that has to be the most important issue and way forward for this. Lots of times when I'm speaking in the Parliament, I tend to talk about things at a local level and within Paisley and Renfrewshire, and this time I will talk about it again because it's, it's something that we have to mention. And in Renfrewshire, Renfrewshire's Alcohol and Drugs Partnership is involved with lots of community groups in the area, and particularly in Paisley's West End, uh, which includes Fergusley Park. They are working with the WISH group, which they have given funding for, which is West End is safer and healthier. And it's a group that's looking at a holistic attitude to how people that are living in some of the areas, some of the poorest areas of uh, the areas of highest deprivation in the whole of Scotland, and uh, they are looking at better ways where they can make life better for themselves, and that includes uh, families that have got people with uh, drug and alcohol uh, problems as well. And uh, it's one of the things we currently have in Renfrewshire is we have a situation where the director of social work will quite publicly say we may have a third-generation drug user in a family. 
And that's a situation where we have to, we have to find a way to make sure that we can get these families and work with them. And I'm glad as part of Remshire Alcohol and Drug Partnership, they've provided funding for activities for kinship carers in particular, because when families break down because of drug use or anything else, it's other members within the family that tend to pick up the pieces as well. And it's an issue that I've had to deal with over the years, whether it be as a councillor beforehand or as now as a, a member of the Scottish Parliament, but I would just like to close, uh, presiding officer, and say this debate is not about methadone. It's not about pharmacies who administer it. Neither is it about many of the drug users who, because of sometimes tragically chaotic lifestyles, find themselves on the road to recovery. This is about people and how we, as a society, can work together to ensure that all of our citizens are given an opportunity to thrive and live life to its full. We could sit here all day and discuss the negative factors, but we have to do something. And this was an easy problem to, if this was an easy problem to solve, as I said earlier, we'd have done it by now. But that doesn't mean we panic and lose hope. I regret, Mr. Adam, your time's up. Richard Simpson, followed by Christine Graham. Thank you, Presiding Officer.